everyone. It's getting everything set up. My goodness. Okay. Oh, Aquafina, not a sponsor. So. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? Girls, I have been running around, and guys, I've been running around all day. Today's my daughter's birthday. And I did it with no makeup because I, you know, you wear the mask and you like whatever. So this is me with bare minimum makeup. So don't poke fun at me. I have my royalty free music on. It's a little, little high tempo for what. If you guys are logging on, I've got one. Please say hello in the chats, in the chat box. How is everyone doing? Hello, hello. Look at, I already got paint in my hair. Isn't that fab? I love that. Good thing it's acrylic and it'll wash out. Yay. I just washed my hair today too. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> I'll put it up. And so those of you who are just joining us, welcome to the Fierce Four. My name is uh, psychic artist Ashley T. I will be painting and giving you a little message today. And I should have put on lipstick too. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should do a makeup tutorial one of these days. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not that brave. So we're going to be um, talking about the Moonology deck. I pulled a card for y'all. I don't know if you guys follow the moon phases, but Sunday is going to be a full moon. So this card that I pulled for today is talking about um, what you need to release, which is awesome because... It's a beautiful card. I'm going to paint some kind of rendition. Maybe not so much, but hey, you never know where it could take us. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, but this is, you know, we, uh, it's awesome on full moons or new moons doing a release and intentions. Second medium Jamie has an amazing workshop that she does um, typically once or twice a month. Um, it's all through zoom right now, but I've done it with her. We've done acrylic pour where, you know, you write your releases out and you burn them. They turn, you put them back into the ground. So they recycle, you know, new energy. Um, and then you write your intentions out, you burn those, and then we put it in the acrylic paint and then you have, you pour it onto the canvas. I don't know if the, those of you who are familiar with acrylic pouring, but um, it's multiple colors and you just flip it over on a canvas and you kind of just move the canvas all around and it creates this beautiful piece and it's your own and you did it. And it came from the energy that you put into it. The colors that you wanted to use all has some kind of symbolism. Um, we did it and Nicole and Jamie read the colors of the girls or it was that, you know, multiple people, but you know, the, the group. And it was, it was unbelievable and so fascinating how every little detail, just by picking a color, really like turned into this bigger picture, which is what I'm all about. I'm all about the big picture. So this one is called what, so this is like, what do you need to release? So going into this new, this full moon, really think about what no longer serves you, whether it's, you know, you've been stressed out and anxiety ridden and, you know, you're tired of feeling yucky inside and you just want to just write it out, burn it and let it go. But you have to mean it. Okay. <laughs> Cause it's all about balance and it's all about what you put out is what you get back. So let me read you this passage real quick. It says the waning moon points to what uh, what's falling away. Life goes in cycles and sometimes we need downtime or to let it go. No matter when the moon cycle what, what no matter when in the moon cycle um, you pulled this card, it's a sign of a situation that a situation is peaked for better or for worse. It's time for you to go easier. Um so what do you need to do to release? Almost certainly something from a situation you're asking about. Possibly everybody asks questions like, why? Why? 
Um, this card can be very positive, but it can still be gently suggesting that you need to let something go or stop trying so hard. How many of us do that? Try hard. It's over here. So it's talking about attune to the moon. It's safe to let go and move on. So if you guys haven't had a chance to take one of Jamie's classes, do it. Because it, it really, really helps move through some old shit that you just need to move on from. Like, you just need to let it go. Um, additional meanings to this card is like, move forward with little resistance as possible. It's time to say yes instead of no. I'm in that phase right now. Saying yes. Uh, releasing emotional baggage is recommended now. Um, say sorry to someone. You've been in a, a little tiff with somebody lately, maybe? Or somebody's been, you know, making you angry? Let it go, right? Do energetic work such as meditation or yoga. Soon you will see what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. I definitely take that into consideration as far as like exercise. I've been getting myself into a routine because mama needs to shed some weight. Okay. Um, it definitely puts yourself in a better headspace. Um, it releases those endorphins and gives you more energy throughout the day, believe it or not. I know a lot of people are like, I don't want to exercise. It makes me tired. That does the opposite. I'm sure you guys already know that. Um at the time of the waning cycle, take a moment to look up at the sky every night. You will see the moon growing smaller and smaller as you as the moon moves through from full to new again. It's time <clears throat> it is the time when things are falling away. It's certainly not the time to cling on to anyone or anything. Drawing this card suggests your situation in its autumn and winter phase. So hunker down and start the regeneration process. So this is all for you guys out there who needed to hear it today. Me too. Yeah. So we're going to get started on our painting. Like I said, we're going to do something moonish. You know, nobody's jumped on yet. And I'm just talking to myself. And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Put this away. Lock it all up. All right, so the colors I'm going to use today, ooh, let me turn this down because this is, okay. I'm going to use white, black, phthalo blue, violet, and I'm going to use, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's um, a black light, uh, hot pink. So let's we'll see where we're going with this. Let's see where we're going. Um, so paintbrushes, I'm using a sponge today. Because I liked, I like using sponge, especially like, I think we might do like some kind of galaxy situation. I don't know. We'll see. Got my small square, my medium square, and my big square. These are my go-tos, man. I use these all the time. Got my water cup. My towel. And I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do. All right. Let's play some, some, a little bit of music. Why not? Hopefully, oh, we'll see. Oh, Candyland is the name. All right, let's, probably won't be able to hear it. If you guys hear, there's a lawnmower outside. My cat's jumping in and out of here because he doesn't like a closed door. I don't know if you guys have cats. He does not like closed doors. <clears throat> He's a little punk. I love him so much, though. Ramon. All righty. So I have my little canvas. I'm going to start with my big brush. I am going to start at the top. I'm going to pick up some phthalo blue and a little bit of black. I'll hold my canvas steady. I'm going to go back and forth, quick brush strokes. Quick brush strokes. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I can see them all. Say hi. Come say hi. Do, do. I'm just whipping this across. Getting a nice V color. Oh, hi, Dean. <laughs>
it's painting. I got a, a nice dark navy color, which I absolutely love for the background, the sky. Feel free if you guys have any questions about art, about the Fierce Four. Sunday's class was so hilarious. LaShawn, who, who ended up winning? Was it Jamie? <laughs> who ended up winning that, that little painting contest? Or you don't want to talk about it? It's okay if you don't want to talk about it. You did good, girl. You did good. For never painting before, you did awesome. Such a blast. If you guys haven't, seen the video yet go to the go, go you guys have already here you've already subscribed if you haven't click that notification bell so you guys know <laughs> when we're on um the fierce four all four of us are on sundays at five o'clock and then each of us has a specific day that we jump on mine is tuesday I swear I was asses and elbows today because I was running around. I had to go to Sprinkles and get the cupcakes for Jillian. And then I, she wanted her hair dyed because her roots were crazy. She's blonde, but she likes her hair red, which, you know what? I'm all about. It's fine. We all go through that. My mom was super, super particular about dyeing hair. So I was just, it's hair. It's fine. All right, so we got this beautiful navy color. Hi, B. Hello, my darling. So excited to see you. So is Lynn. Oh, my God. The three of us together. Yikes. Good thing we'll be at your house. <laughs> Not getting in trouble. <laughs> Not getting in trouble. All right, so I'm cleaning out my brush. I want to get all the black out. Because what we're going to do next is we're going to add some more phthalo blue down to the bottom. And I want a fade. It's like, I don't know if you guys pay attention to the sky, but there's always a lighter fade towards the horizon line. So that's what we want to do. Let's do a little fade, maybe add a touch, touch of white. Touch of white. Dean, how are you doing? How's life in quarantine? I know you're probably going crazy. <laughs> Gotta get that COVID shot and you can wander about. It's a mixed bag. Those of you who are on here, you hear. Have you guys had any side effects? I've heard some people, the second dose. Some people, it's the first dose. Which one? Oh, you got the first shot. Oh, good. Yay. Yay, finally, because, I mean, I haven't seen you in a minute. So. <laughs> Kathy's got you under lock and key. <laughs> With good reason. Good reason. All right, so you guys can see the fade. Gotta make sure that my laptop's at full battery. Ooh. The charger keeps falling out. All right, so we've got this beautiful fade. All right. So we got a little bit of our night sky going on. I am going to grab, hopefully I have it. If not, we'll have to, yeah. So those of you who want, like, I like to do galaxy paintings. It's super fun. This is one of those little dinky toothbrushes. <laughs> I got like a thousand of them for $5 off Amazon. They make the best stars for a night sky. So you're going to want to dip your paintbrush into the water, give it a tap, bring it over to your white and kind of rub it around. People always laugh when I teach this 
because they're like, what do we need a toothbrush for? And I said, because dental hygiene is important. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to turn down the contrast just a little bit so you guys can see. All right. So I've got a, my paintbrush with a little bit of white paint on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strike my finger over it. And then you'll be able to see. I'm going to have to bring it up. And then I'm going to do kind of like a Milky Way line up the side. And then I will show you. You guys see? Pretty cool, huh? I love this technique. It's my favorite. I did. I will. I'll say happy birthday to Beans. Oh, she, you got Moderna. It's a mixed bag. You had a card pull for stargazing? That's so rad. I love how all four of us are so, sorry, I'm really close to the mic. I love how all four of us are so fucking in tune right now. Like, it's so rad. Like, we hear things in the middle of the night at the same time. Like, we put, like, it's, it's so connected and it it's just absolutely amazing. Like I get so like LaShawn says geeked. I get geeked over it. It's so cool. Oh my God. I love it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my medium brush with some white. And where do I want to put this moon? I'm going to put them right here. So I'm just going to go spin my paintbrush around in circles. Now my paint is still wet, which is fine because it'll give us this beautiful fade. This beautiful fade. And I'm just holding it in the center and spinning it around to get you know, a fairly decent circle. I can always go back to it, realizing that I may have used just a scotch too much paint. Just a scotch. Oh, Edward. My dog Edward is in here right now. And he's usually very loud. And my cat, and they don't. Well, my cat likes to torture Edward, so we'll see how that happen. That goes. Weedis, want to come say hi? Weedy, come here. Edward, come here. Want to come say hi? Come here. Come here, want to say hi? This is Edward. <laughs> Edward is my is my dog. Say hi, Weedy. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> He's my little chihuahua and he's a pain in the butt, but I love him so much. All right, so I've got this moon going on right now. Going to let that dry for a little bit. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to add some white. I guess, you know what? I guess I will just paint that scene. A little snowy scene. It's still snowing in some parts. It's been cold enough, right? I just picked up some white. It's going to blend in and flick off all over me, which is fine. It's all good. Once again, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you want to know, if, I mean, I can do another card pull if you want. You guys are interested. I'm all about it. Why not? I mean, I got to let this guy dry. All right, we got those little snowy bank. So when we were doing our class on Sunday, one of the things that we talked about before um, we started painting was connecting with our creativity guide or creative guide. Um, it's one of the things I do on a daily basis, especially when I'm creating new art. 
And I kind of let them, I'm like, I think I said this before, I'm a vessel for them. Um, when people ask me like, Oh, how'd you learn how to do this? And I was like, it's always just come naturally. And I'm pretty sure it had to do with my creative guy. It's <laughs> just coming through. Um, and, uh, I'm so thankful for that and the amount of, you know, what I'm able to do with it, I think is, is just, you know, people I come in contact with, you know, it's just awesome. I love it. Making, making those connections. All right. So what I'm going to do now, which is super fun, is I'm going to use that same technique with my toothbrush, but I'm going to go into some purple. I'm going to purps. Okay. I'm going to go right kind of over where I did my, let's see. This is. That's better. It's all dark and moody now. Ooh. So I'm going to go right over so that white. It's very subtle. But you can see it. Let's go into it. Dip back. I'm going to dip into some pink now. Because why not? You're like, I kind of went in a different direction that I thought I was going to go. That's okay. All right. Beauts, beauts, beauts. Cool trick. It is a cool trick. Guys, if you haven't had a chance to take advantage of Jamie's special right now, she's doing $75 for an hour. Go over Shades of Spirit LLC, um, their website, or you can reach out to them on Facebook. Book your reading. She is amazing. And then you have Miss LaShawn, Luminous Paths of Love, with her beautiful jewelry. She makes... Oh, she makes the most beautiful stuff and she makes it just for you. Like the amount of research she does for each stone. Like she just does all of these. She just goes the extra mile to make that piece of jewelry specifically for you and your soul. Love it. I'm going back with a little bit more white defining this. Um, Milky Way line. I'm going to go out a little bit because Milky Way is not the same. Do, 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 do. Do, be, do, 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 be, do, 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 My phone is all dirty. thought I turned it off. I told my husband, like, I'm busy. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple little tree trees here. I'm going to clean out my medium brush. Squeeze it dry. Squeeze it dry. I'm going to go back with that dark navy color. So a little bit of phthalo blue. And black. because We want it dark. So now we have this lighter area to work with. So I'm pushing my paintbrush up against the paper plate to really get a crisp edge. So we're going to put a tree that lives right here. So you hold it, hold your paintbrush up down and give it a little tap for the top of your tree. Then you're going to use the corner, the tip corner of your brush. And you're going to lightly tap kind of like in a zigzag. Oh, I got to hold my canvas or it's going to fall. Just down, this one's gonna go off the canvas, that's okay. And I'm going back and forth, creating that epic tree all the way down, okay? Go back with a little bit more black. Picked up a little bit of white, that's okay. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. Happy tree. Happy, happy, happy tree. Let's put some over here. So tap and down, straight up and down, and then I'm gonna use the corner. And I'm just lightly tapping. Back and forth in a zigzag. I don't like Z's. Don't take it too literal. Most people do. And then they turn into like big old zigzags. And you're just like, um. Yeah, it turns into a mess. So, y'all, I was telling you that I'm started working out. I'm on day two. Okay. I got an exercise bike off of Amazon and which was so cheap. It was awesome. And it's perfect. Cause it's just a little tiny bike. I have it in my living room so I can watch my shows. One movie I watched today was called kids 90. It was Soleil Moon Fry. I don't know if you guys know but punky Brewster. It was popular when I was a kid. Um, and, uh, it, she like documented like almost her whole life with like videos or like videotapes and like all of these, you know, kids celebrities at the time, um, that she was friends with. And a lot of them, you know, committed suicide sadly, but it was crazy. Like it was so cool though. Cause it was just like a lot of like, you know, they had like the save by the bell cast. They had the kid, the movie kids, which was a rough movie. But, um, it, uh, 90210. Yeah. Apparently Soleil and Brian Austin Green are pretty good friends. So I was like, oh, damn. Okay. Look at that. Yeah. It was great. It was, it was, a, hey, got me working out for an hour, at least an hour and 20 minutes. So there's that. All right, squirrel friends. So I've got, Oh, you say that's awesome for my working out, B? Yeah, I know. Mama needs to get her fat ass into shape. Like, seriously, like, this is no joke anymore. Be like, oh, I'm all about body positivity. Don't get me wrong. But when I get winded after going up some stairs, that's an issue. And I don't want that. So we're, we're doing something about it. And I will literally ask, <laughs> like, I go nuts with these trees. I absolutely love making these trees. They're so easy. And it's just a tap. If you guys can hear that, that is Chunk, my husband's dog, who so desperately wants to come in. Even though I told my kids to keep the dogs, you know, away from the door. But you know how good a nine year old is at listening. And then, you know, 17 year old. She's 17. Get those legs moving, girl. They're moving. I was surprised I wasn't in pain today. So that's good. <laughs> Got to get that heart rate up and then I can come hiking with you maybe. We'll see. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm not washing my brush, but I'm dipping a corner of my paintbrush into some white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly tap down on the outer left side of my tree to kind of give it some highlight. Do some in here too. Because we've got the moon shining. So we want to want to do a little bit of moonlit trees. All romantical. Who wants to go to this place? I do. I do. I'm just going to do that to this tree as well. And this, I'm just lightly tapping down where I already hit black blue paint. And then this one I'm going to do on the opposite side. Just tapping down. Tap, tap, tap a -roo.
Those of you who are joining for the first time, I am psychic artist Ashley T. I am a mobile art instructor for the Orange County area. I started off working at a paint and sip location here in good old H. Bizzle. And uh, that shut down due, due to COVID. So we had, uh, mama needed to make money moves. So I decided to start up my own mobile or art instructing business. And it's going pretty rad. Um, I have a class every Tuesday. I didn't have a class today because, like I said, it's Jillian's birthday. So, you know, I had lots of stuff to do. You know, a bunch of mom stuff do all that plus you know got the nine-year-old in the in the school and stuff so gotta do that all right so I'm gonna go back over my moon I cleaned out my brush actually I used multiple brushes so this is a new one I am going to make my moon a little bit more full I thought I was going to use sponge technique today, but maybe next time and I will use a bigger canvas. So those of you who are interested, when I've been doing this, I've been using an 11 by 7 um, canvas. Usually when I teach, I'll use like when I teach my classes, um, I use a 16 by 20 or a 10 by 30, which are long. They're awesome. They're so cool. They're great for couples paintings. They don't take up that much room when they want to go hang them, if they like it enough to hang. <laughs> I think they only really come for the experience, which, hey, I'm all about. So I am up close and personal with this moon right now because, well, I want it to be a circle. <laughs> there we go. All right. You know what? We will use the sponge. So I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to squeeze it up so I've got the least amount of surface area. I'm going to dip it into some white. Give it a little tap, tap, tap. Make sure if you are, if you're ever bold enough to use sponge that you always tap it out. And then you just lightly tap around. And then this kind of gives the moon a little bit of texture. I'll show you guys in just a second. I'm going to pick up a little bit of black. Dab a little bit of that black in there. Just a little bit. Got a whisper. Just a little. Do, do, do. always tend to hold my breath when I do little tiny details <laughs> like that. All right. Zoom in if you guys can see all of that little detail, kind of, maybe. Oh, there we go. That ring light, man. It's great for the face, not for the paintings. All right. So we have got, almost done here. This is cute. I love it. I love, I love painting so much. All right, squirrel friends. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the back of my small square brush. Thought I was going to need it. Mm, I don't think so. I mean, I guess I could add like little, little like white bushes. Do, 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 do. No, I need my medium brush for that. Just tapping down and then fading it out. It's nice to do these little bushes on the line where your trees hit like your landline only because it gives just a nice transition and you don't have like this funky little line, <laughs> the line in between. 
And I'm just holding my paintbrush up and down and just lightly tapping. Got a tiny bit of white, just a tiny bit. Oh, we did. Oh. Yeah. And my paint is still wet down here. So it's actually just picking up. Oh, just a little bit of that bluish color along with this lighter blue that's already down here and a tiny bit of that gray which is I'm all right with I like it and I'm just lightly tapping and then you can whip away on the bottom Side to side. Ooh, 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 doo, doo, doo. Like I always say, sound effects always help. Emma, my artist, says this is amazing. Oh, Emma! You're such a cutie. Thank you so much. Ooh, Emma should be on and we can paint together. Yay! You can be like Nick, though, if you don't want to be like on camera. You can we can like dress you up in like a unicorn outfit with a mask. Nick wasn't into that, but maybe we can get you to do it. <laughs> Spirit Walker Nicole. Sorry, I'm not having those formal names. <laughs> to me, she's Nick. Spirit Walker Nicole. Yeah, guys, check us out next week. Spirit Walker Nicole's going to lead this one. And she's keeping us on our toes about what the topic's about. So who knows what we're going to be talking about? We'll see. Tomorrow, LaShawn's going to jump on. She's going to give you card reading. Some readings. She might, you know, who she she does a bunch of different stuff, too. So you never know. With me, I'm kind of, I'm good with, rep not repetition. I'm going to stay in my lane. <laughs> but I'll give you a different picture every time, that's for sure. I sure will. Yeah, check us out on Sundays, 5 o'clock. The Fierce Four. Make sure... If you haven't already, subscribe to the Shades of Spirit YouTube channel. If you haven't and you're just chilling, what are you doing? Why are you wasting time? Get on, get on our level. Be a part of this fan bam. Hit the notification bell. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I like her. She's cute. That one's going up on my wall. I love it. All righty, y'all. We have just about, yeah, I think we're good. I think we're done. What do you guys think? Do you think she's finished? Maybe. Yeah. I don't like that angle. It makes my double chin crazy. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here is your finished product. Let me see if I can, do I still have the card out? You guys can see now I didn't do a crescent moon, which was on the oh did I lose the card somewhere? Where'd you go? It's fine, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Any who's the oh I know exactly where it is. Hotness. <laughs> so here's the original. Here's the card. Turn it off. There you go. So there's the original card. And there's that guy. Pretty damn close, if you ask me. Go ahead. Beautiful. All right, guys. I'm going to sign off because now I've got to do birthday dinner for my little princess poo poo face. So if you guys like, please like and share. Make sure you follow us. 
LaShawn is Luminous Path of Love on Facebook. Psychic Medium Jamie, Spirit Walker Nicole, Shades of Spirit LLC. Tune in tomorrow and Thursday for Transformation Talk Radio and Eye of Soul Radio. They talk about all kinds of stuff. Shit gets real. The raw side of spirit. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is Art by Ashley T. I am Ashley Tower on Facebook. There's two accounts. Make sure you do the Art by Ashley T one. Um, if you guys are in the Orange County area or you guys want to book a party, I'm willing to travel. Why not? It's all good. Um, you guys can book a, book a party with me. Um, you can email me at artbyashleyt at gmail.com or check out my website, which is www.artbyashleyt.com. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today. Sorry, it was very, you know, you know it's all good. What are you going to do? Thank you. I did that so quick too. Yes. You know, I do what I do what I do, girl. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Make sure you get out there, do your release and intentions on Sunday. If you guys have any questions about that, feel free to hit us up at Shades of Spirit LLC and check out if we're doing any release and intentions or if you just want some simple guidance on how to do it yourself. I've done it multiple times by myself and it's it's really rewarding. So full moon, Sunday, you've got three days. You could do it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, wherever you guys want to do. Just make sure you guys get out there, ground, release that negative energy, positive energy back in, and you all have a wonderful rest of your evening and week, and we will see you on Sunday. Bye. Do, 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 and the thing, and, and, and.